the weird experience I had had nothing to do with the bunny man story, but it was one of the strangest things I think I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, I'm like nervous again, like just even being here. Unexplained Cases is supported by the American Paranormal Press. Carrie Nyon. And Cullen Therapies. Urban legends. We love them. They are the nightmare fuel of campfire and sleepover stories. The state of Virginia happens to have an urban legend that many may have heard growing up, and many more found online. The story goes that if you're at a bridge on Colchester Road in Fairfax County, Virginia, on Halloween at midnight, you'll be murdered by the Bunny Man. The lore has some noteworthy pieces, a date, an asylum, and the crashing of a transport bus. In 1904, an asylum stood not far from the bridge. The asylum closed. Patients were being transported to a new location. The bus had an accident, and all the inmates were accounted for, except for one. The escaped mental patient was named Douglas Griffin. After the crash, he disappeared. Weeks passed. Then rabbit corpses began appearing in the woods. Douglas was apparently eating bunnies to stay alive. And this went on for a while. On Halloween night at midnight, a group of kids were hanging around the bridge. The next day, they were found strung up like bunnies gutted and hanging from the bridge. Griffin was assumed to be the killer. But there are problems with this urban legend. There was never an asylum near this bridge. 1904 is an early year for buses to be on roads. But every urban legend begins with a shred of truth. Brian Conley an archivist for the Fairfax County government, worked for the county's library system as a historian in the 1990s. He was often asked if the bunny man was real. In his research, he discovered that in 1970, a couple was parked in a driveway not far from the bridge, which is actually a train overpass. Someone appeared suddenly near their car yelled at them about trespassing and threw a hatchet at the car. The couple could only describe the person as dressed in, quote, white or light-colored clothing, unquote, and that they, quote, may or may not have had something on his head, unquote. So, a terrifying random encounter with no injuries or murder becomes a man in a bunny suit chasing kids through the woods with a hatchet. And yet, we're not opening a case on the infamous bunny man. There's really nothing unexplained here. Our case involves the road leading to the bunny man bridge and what a now famous TikTok influencer experienced. Rosie Grant is known on social media for cooking recipes found on gravestones. Unexplained Cases had the joy of connecting with her and learning not only of what she heard about the Bunny Man growing up in Northern Virginia, but also an incredibly strange experience she had near the Bunny Man Bridge. Okay, so I'm driving to the Bunny Man Bridge and Virginia. Um, I'm about four minutes away from it. It's like all back roads and like sunset right now. 
Um, people I've like heard growing up, growing up in Northern Virginia, people would go to the bridge like during Halloween and they would always have, you know, like cops and stuff posted there. And I never went as a kid cause I was too scared. Like my cousins were one of those people when I was younger and they would, they went like one time went during Halloween and their like car stalled when they were beneath the bridge and it was like a very scary story. So I was always way too scared to go. But so I decided to finally go like, I don't know, I want to say two or three years ago. I went on a Saturday morning in the middle of the day. It was like 11 a.m. and um, bright outside, clear day. And the weird experience I had had nothing to do with the bunny man story, but it was one of the strangest things I think I've ever seen. So when I got to the bridge area, we're not too far from the turn. Basically, like, it's all of these, like, back roads and pretty, pretty, um, deserted. You can see there's, like, not a lot of houses around. The houses are in the distance. And I come upon this woman standing in the middle of the road who's wearing all black. And this is, like, right before I get to the bridge. She's wearing all black. She has, like, the build of, like, a Betty White, like, smaller, older, uh, I think white hair. She has a dark black hat on. All black like robes basically. And she is just like huge like goggles. Like she almost has like the style of like Yzma from the Emperor's New Grove. Like super super like it's just like she, she would be striking if you saw her in the middle of like a city. And then she was standing literally like planted feet between two lanes right in the middle of the road right before the bridge. Oh my gosh, I'm like nervous again, like just even being here. Okay, so the Bunny Man Bridge is literally just up ahead. It was like right up ahead that this woman is just like, it was like maybe almost like right here. Like I couldn't see the bridge yet, but like, because at first I was paying attention to Google Maps and just like she's standing there. You can see there's no like houses that are close by. There's no sidewalks, like it goes down into a single lane. Like this is pretty much like, I almost like hit her cause I just wasn't expecting any like person to just be standing there, like staring ahead goggles. And then I basically like drive right past her. She turns her head and it's just like, I could see her in my rear view mirror. This like woman who was there, it was like pretty much like right around here. So I could see this figure and I was like, less even concerned with the bridge at this point. Like this woman all in black and here's the bridge right here. So like she literally was like right before I get to the bridge standing waiting for something and it was so shocking um so I at this point I get to the bridge and I'm like okay here's the bridge I just want to know who that lady is I get through I go going through it right now creepy creepy immediately turn around drive back up the hill as you can see it was like right there the whole thing took I don't know maybe three minutes there was another car behind me so like it took me a second the woman was gone by the time I got there Okay, we're gonna go, I just U-turned, we're going back through the bridge. It is desolate out here. I mean, like, if she was just some person who, again, just walked through these, like, with these, like, huge robes, um, we're going through again. Like, I'm like, who is she? Who is she, like, walking? Like, she had such a presence. It was so striking just seeing this person. Um, I drive back through, I go back up the road. So at this point now, from where she was standing, I should have been able to see her just gone. Like, I even like paused at the top, like looking for her if she was in the woods. Like she could have like run to one of the houses, but like generally would have had to like go through the brush. She wasn't near one of these driveways. She was pretty much right here, right at the top of the hill. Just standing here waiting for something with black goggles, almost like a feathery black cape. And it was so weird. Please note, there is no parking in or near the bridge. So this isn't a location that can easily be investigated. Of course, there are plenty of questions. Was this goggle and dark clothing clad woman actually a ghost? If a ghost, does she haunt the area? Or was she merely passing through that day? Why was she in the middle of the road at nearly the middle of the day? Has she been seen by anyone else? If you or someone you know has seen or heard reports of this woman, 
please contact us. For now, we thank Rosie for researching, cooking, and sharing her gravestone recipes with the world. We also thank her for sharing and documenting a rather creepy experience near the Bunny Man Bridge. Reporting for Unexplained Cases, I'm Rick Garner. <laughs>